Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about finding our maximum brake torque timing in part throttle areas of operation. We'll find that we want to have our spark timing optimized when we're in the light areas of operations. We're not at the higher load conditions at full throttle. It's going to be vacuum style driving. This can give us good throttle response, good torque output, and ultimately we're going to be improving our fuel economy. So there's going to be all positive things by going and figuring out what the optimal amount of spark timing is going to be in the lighter areas of operation. So there's gonna be a couple different techniques and generalizations that we need to know about doing this process. Let's jump in and take a look at the very first thing we need to do in order to start our part throttle optimization of our spark timing. The very first step in our spark timing optimization process, part throttle, is gonna be bringing our spark timing values down and having a baseline amount. That's gonna be where we're gonna be increasing from. Typically speaking, I bring it down to about 15 to 20 degrees depending on the engine and the compression I'm working with. So a higher compression engine, I'm going to bring it down to something like 15 degrees. A lower compression engine, something about 8 or 9 to 1 compression, 20 degrees would be a decent starting point. From here, we're able to increase our timing in small increments and evaluate data to be able to figure out if the changes we're making is going to be a positive change or it's going to be having no effect. And what we'll find is as we bump the spark timing in from this base amount, we're going to get to a point where we're going to have the optimization level where adding more spark timing in isn't going to be doing anything. We're not going to be getting any gains. And at that point, we've reached maximum brake torque. Now, the reason why I like to bump the spark timing down so low is because a lot of times, if you're looking at a spark timing table, you would assume that the engine could run at something like 30 or 35 degrees. But in all actuality, the engine might actually be performing optimally at maximum brake torque at something like 25 or 28 degrees. By going beyond maximum brake torque, you can have the onset of knock and pre-ignition occurring and by uh, going and having it further advanced timing, it's going to be giving you no benefit. So we only want to run as much timing on our engine as we absolutely have to and that's going to be uh, part of the cause and effect here by doing this calibration process, taking a look at our spark timing from a base level and then bumping it upwards and moving in small increments to see the cause and effect. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.